Hello, good evening. <clears throat> good night, teacher. Hello, good evening, Jose. How are you? I find I study English section four. Really? Did you finish? Let me know. Let's see. Have you finished? <laughs> Let's see, Jose. Let's hope you finished already, all right? Because today we're going to start with section five. Hello, teacher. Hello, Lizette. How are you? I feel happy, teacher. See you. Excellent. I'm, I feel happy to see you, too. <laughs> Let's see. Welcome back, guys. Let's see. I'm sharing with you the PPT. Today we have a new section, right? Yesterday we finished a uh, section four. Today we are going to start with section five, which is pretty amazing, right? We have a lot of content and we have a lot of things to learn in today's class. So before moving on, as per usual, we're going to have a certain part called recalling previous learning, right? Como en cada clase, Antes de iniciar con el material puro de la clase, vamos a tener un pequeño como recordatorio de lo que vimos en la clase anterior. Right? So let's check. Where were you born? Ese es el tema de la sección 5, right? Section number 5. So let's move on. Let's see. We are in class 13. We have this vocabulary words. We have go hiking have fun, meet new people, play tennis, see a movie, take a class, go swimming. Remember, recuerden, aquí no se puede decir go swimming, no, eso no existe, es go swimming, go swimming. Have a picnic, meet old friends, play volleyball, see a play and take pictures, all right? So let's go with Jose Carpio. Jose, usted va a ser el lado de go hiking y Lizette Montoya, usted va a ser el lado de go swimming. Van a ir uno y uno, ¿ok? Please. Ok. Yes. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet all friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take okay. a picture. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Now let's go with Elizabeth Campos. Elizabeth, usted va a ser el lado de go hiking. Y Ana Gloria, usted va a ser el lado de Go Swimming, please. Vamos a ir una y una, ¿ok? Action. Go hiking. Hello, Ana. Su micrófono está cerrado. Ok, maybe she's not in the class. Let me go with you, Elizabeth, because I need you to practice. Okay, so start again, please. Yes. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Thank you, Lizeth. Excellent. Very really good, guys. Now. Hola. Este, le mando a alguien de, de después. De lo... Okay. Let's go with the next one. Hello, Anita. Hoy sí veo que tiene abierto su micrófono, Anita. ¿Está ahí? Yes, yes, sí. Excellent. Okay. Vamos a ver, Anita, usted va a ser el lado de go swimming y yo voy a ser el lado de go hiking para que practique, ¿ok? Bye, bye. Go hiking. Go winning. Have fun. 
have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take a picture. Take pictures, right? Excellent. Thank you, Anita. Very good. All right, everybody. With this, we have practiced with the different uh, vocabulary words that you have, right? It's important. Vamos a ver cómo estamos con esos verbs en simple past. Porque aquí están en simple present, pero vamos a chequear los verbs en simple past. Let's see. <laughs> Let me go with, ah, um, we have more students. Let me see. Janira Peña, usted va a ser el lado de go hiking y Jamie Merlos, please, el lado de go swimming. Uno y uno, por favor. Go hiking. Go swimming. Go have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take picture. Very good, excellent, good pronunciation. And all right, ahora les pregunto yo. Let's see. Si tengo en simple present, go, ¿cuál sería para el simple past? Voice. Are you sure? Porque ese sería tercera persona en simple present, pero en pasado. When. Went, exactly. Cambia, recuerden que este es un regular verb, all right? You're going to change it. Aquí los regulars cambian, right? Los irregulars, sorry, los irregulars come. So let's see. Si yo tengo have in simple present y lo quiero pasar a past, ¿cómo hago? ¿Qué le pongo? Have. Have. Excellent. There you go. Meet. Met. Met. Excellent. Play. Played. Played. Excellent. There you go. Very good. See? So. So excellent. Very good. So. And what about take? Exactly. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, guys. It's really important that you understand how do they change, right? When do they change? How do they change? And why do they change? Porque cambian, como cambian, y cuando cambian, right? Aquí los tenemos en simple present. Pero si ustedes los ponen a practicar con eso en la platform, y estamos en el simple past, ya saben que los van a convertir a simple past, right? Let's go with reading stories. ¿Por qué quiero que hagamos esta parte de reading stories? Como les dije, este solo es un calentamiento, right? Pero en estas stories van a encontrar a lot of, a lot of verbs in simple present, in simple past. Van a encontrar muchísimos eh, verbos en simple past. Lo cual es bueno para ustedes, es vocabulary extra, right? It's extra vocabulary. So let's go with, let me see, Jose Vega. Okay, Jose Vega, usted va a leer la information about Kelly, please. Si necesita ayuda con algún verb, me dice. Ok. Eh, Kelly, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend, Helen Wendy. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked eh, fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress after the ceremony her parents served a wonderful meal i am happy for her and i really like her husband that's correct excellent jose very good there you go let's see maira tell me the information about robert please okay and robert i had an oh excuse me on full, ¿cómo se diría ahí? 
Awful. Awful. Mm -hmm. Awful. Justamente así. Ah, ok. Awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It, it, permítame. It told, it took three hours to dry there. I don't, I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert, concert, mm -hmm. the concert ended, ended, creo yo, ended. Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> Old car broke, broke it. Oh, broke down. Broke down. Mm -hmm. I ca called my parents and they came and goes, um, goes, así, goes. Got us. Uh, got us. Mm -hmm. uh, and got us. We finally go home and time this morning. I am so. Tired. Exactly. There you go. Thank you, Marita. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with um, Elizabeth Campos, the information about Erin. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. No sé si así es. Campsite? First, yes, campsite. We put the rent, then we build, no sé cómo es esto, build a fire, a fire cooked dinner and two histories. We go, we go got up early on Sunday and when when finish finish fishing see? fishing ah pardon fishing I caught uh -huh. a, a fish I didn't really like camping but I learned a talk a lot, oh, no, a lot. Excelente, there you go. Muy okay, difícil esto. ¿Verdad que sí? Sí. Excelente, no, I got you guys. Sí, lo comprendo. La verdad es que eh, les comentaba yo a otros grupos que la escritura cuesta, right? La gramática cuesta ir entendiendo esto, cómo va posicionado. Pero cuando ya toca hablarlo, you need to practice a lot. Solo se logra poder manejar bien el inglés cuando se practica. Entre más se practica, it's better, right? So let's go with Miguel Navarro. Please tell me the information about Kelly. Okay. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend, Ellen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I really happy for her, and I really like her husband. That's correct, excellent, very good. Let's go with Lisette Montoya, the information about Roberts. Let's see. Uh -huh. I had an awful week. My friend and I, went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and Got us. Uh -huh, us. What well, we finally got home at ten this morning. I am so tired. Exactly, that's correct. Thank you, Lisette. Very good. And the last one, 
Let me see, I'm going to have, um, Jamie, please, Jamie Merlos. Si necesita ayuda, Jamie, me dice, okay? Eh, sería la de Eri. Yes, exactly. Solo la molesto. Sí, Pero claro que, que se sí. puede acercar un poquito más. Yes, déjeme ver aquí. Ok. Ok, uh, ya va a cargar. There you go. Sí. I have an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friend took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the camping. First, we, we found up the, the tent. Then we bought a fire. Cook, cook, cooking? Cooked. Cooked dinner and told a story. We got Healthy on Sunday and when first, first went fishing, fishing. Mm -hmm. I caught a um, fish. I didn't really like camping, but I early I love. I, I love. learned. I, I love. Uh -huh, exactly. I learned a lot. There you go. I learned a lot. Uh huh. Excellent, Jamie. Very good. All right, everybody, you're doing great, all right? Let's continue practicing the use of verbs in simple past and you will get better every time. Now, with this, as I told you before, this was just the warming up, right? Let's move on to the following. Let me see. Okay, statements with the past of B, all right? Ya teníamos el eh, simple past, normal, right? El cual era cambiar los verbs de presente a pasado simple. That's it. Ustedes aprendieron el verb to be, right? In its form, in affirmative form, and excellent. Recuerdan que el verb to be es un tema aislado del eh, simple present, right? No es lo mismo, son diferentes. Lo mismo sucede aquí. Ustedes aprenden el simple past y ahora tienen que aprender el past of be, right? The past of verb to be. Now let's check how do we work this, right? Let me go. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see, we have a conversation. Desde ahorita les digo, recuerden que no es lo mismo el simple past que el past of be, right? So I will read the conversation first. Yo leo primero la conversation, pay attention to my pronunciation, and then you will practice as per usual. I was born in Korea. Where were, no se van a poner nerviosos en esta parte, right? Así se menciona, where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US. Recuerden, US, it means United States. Si ustedes me dicen USA, significa United States of America. Okay? Si estamos hablando, así estamos hablando del mismo país, pero las, eh, los acronyms are different, right? So let's see. Oh, so you weren't born in the US. No. I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here, right? Now let's check this. We are talking with, we are using the B in past, okay? So let's take into consideration that. Let's see, let me have Jancy Jimenez, you are Melissa and Jonathan Cordova, you are Chuck, action. 
Hola. No sé si alcanzó a escuchar a Jonathan. No, 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 Melissa? I was born in Korea. You were born in use in the use. No, I came here in 1999. Is correct. Yes. Okay. You were born June. Yes, I was only. 17. Why? No, my English was very good. So I took English class for the two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, good. I was born here. There you go, excellent guys. Thank you so much for your participation. Now, okay. let me let me mention again some words that maybe it could be hard to pronounce, right? Voy a pronunciar de nuevo algunas palabras que puede ser un poco difícil pronunciar. Como en este caso, let me see. Weren't, weren't. Esa T tiene que sonar, weren't, weren't. Wasn't, wasn't. Y en este caso, como tenemos eh, plural, we say classes, classes. Okay, now let's go with the following. Let's go with Sonia del Tránsito, you are Melissa, and Jose Vega, you are Chuck. Action. Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Oh, yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. There you go, excellent. Thank you guys, very good job. Now, let's go with Jamie Merlos. Jamie, you are Melissa. And let me look for you a pair. Déjeme, le busco una pareja. Let me see, Miguel Navarro, you are Chuck. Action. Okay. Where were, were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. East. No, I came here in 99. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English was very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is very pretty good too. Yeah, but I was for her. Excellent, there you go. Like a real conversation, right? Very good. Let's go with Lisette Montoya. You are Melissa and Mayra Lopez. You are Chuck. Action.
Yo soy Melissa, ¿verdad? Yes. No, yo Ay. soy Melissa. Sí. Ah, entonces yo soy... Choc. Ah, oh, Choc. Oh, ok, gracias, disculpe. Sí, so... right. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't, weren't born in the in the U.S. U.S. ¿verdad? U.S. Ay, perdón. Excuse me. U.S. No se preocupe. No se preocupe. No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were played young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to Korean right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Good now. Thanks. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was for her. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Very good job. Now, let's see. Gabriela Choto, you are Melissa, and I think Jose Carpe, usted no ha pasado, right? No. Okay, so you are Chuck. Action. Not teacher. Yes, Jose. Usted va a ser Chuck, entonces. Y Gabriela Choto va a ser Melissa. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. I think you have problems, Jose, maybe with the mic or with the internet. I'm not sure. Let's see. Escucha usted, Gabriela, o soy solo yo? Sí, yo sí escucho. Ah, you listen. Okay, excellent. Continue then. Pero no escucho. Okay. No, a él no lo escucho. Solo ah, pues sí, yo a él me refería. <laughs> All right, let's see. Jose, are you there, Jose Carpio? Me escucho, Ticha. Sí, ahora sí. Comencemos de nuevo, please. Ok. Uh, where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you were born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were born. You were Pretty young? Yes, I was only 17. Uh, did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is very good too. Okay, yeah, but I was born. Yeah, here. but I was born. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, guys. All right, very good job. Excellent. Now, let's go with the last pair. Why? Why do I need that everybody participate in this part? ¿Por qué necesito que todos participen en esta parte? Desde aquí estamos iniciando ya con el past of B10, right? So I need you to practice. Let's go with Veronica Esmeralda. Eh, Veronica, you are Melissa and let me check. Dinora Hernández, you are Chuck. Action, please. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in U.S.? 
No, I came here is nineteen ninety nine. You you were pretty you. Yes, I was only seventeen. Did you, you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English class classes for two years first. Well, English is really good. No. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Now, let me go with, let me see, do I have Anita over here? Anna? Okay, so Anna, you are Chuck. Y ya le digo quién va a ser Melissa. Mm. Janira Peña, please. You are Melissa. Action. Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA? No, I come here. S no, I come here in 1999. Ooh, you were very good. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Were your English in really good now? Good now? Thanks. Your English is pretty, pretty good too. I would, uh, um, was born here. There you go. Excellent. That's the reason, right? because he was born here in the US. All right, everybody, with this, we have practiced the use of be in past, okay? Let's check, what is that? How does it work? How can I know how to use it? A statements with the past of being, right? I was born in Korea. I wasn't, wasn't born in the US. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. College. We were born in the same, we were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the US in 1998, right? Now let's practice with this one. We have contractions, okay? Recuerden, ustedes aquí pueden decir was not. Si se utiliza, si se puede, no hay ningún problema. Pero estamos utilizando ahorita o aprendiendo con las contractions, right? Entonces tenemos wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. Vamos a step by, by step, right? Esta PPT, esta presentation está preparada para ir paso a paso para que ustedes no se me vayan a confundir en ningún momento, ¿ok? So, let's practice. Vamos a practicar con eso. Recuerden, wasn't, weren't. Let me start with Elizabeth Campos. You are affirmative. And Verónica Esmeralda, you are negative. Vamos uno y uno, please. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the US. You you were pretty young. You were very old. She was 17. I wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They were, they were, weren't in the U.S. in 1998. 1998. 
right? Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much, girls. Let's go with Carla Patricia. You are affirmative, Sonia del Transito. You are negative. Action. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in US. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She was in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the US in 1898. Uh -huh, 1998. Excellent. Thank you, Sonia and Carla. That's correct. Let me go with Jonathan Cordova. Jonathan, you are affirmative. Miguel Navarro, you are negative. Action, please. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the US. You were pretty young. You were very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They were in, in the US in 1998. That's correct. Both of you, thank you. Let's have a Jose Vega. You are affirmative. And Fatima Guardado, you are negative. Action, please. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the US. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We were born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the US in uh, 19, no, 1998. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Give me one second. Solo contesto este mensaje del grupo. All right, guys. Remember, verb to be, solo para hacerles un recalling, right? Solo para que nos acordemos un poquito que el verb to be significa ser o estar, right? Claro, claro está <ríe> que esto va a depender mucho de nuestro context, pero básicamente eso es ser o estar, right? Por eso es que ustedes ven que ahorita está hablando mucho de como maybe las nationalities, los countries, All right. eh, también age, en cuanto a la edad, está todo eso relacionado. Pero yo les he preparado unos ejemplos también para que vean en qué otros ámbitos se pueden utilizar. Algo que sí les voy a decir desde ahorita es que este verb to be, si ustedes se recuerdan cuando estaban en simple, no, cuando estaban en verb to be in present, en ese no lo utilizaban con otros verbs, right? No se puede mezclar con otros verbos porque ya eso genera otro tiempo gramatical. Por ejemplo, si ustedes estaban en present, en present y tenían el verb to be y querían poner otro verbo, tenían que poner el continuo, ¿verdad? For example, I'm drinking water. Estoy tomando agua, right? Tenía que poner mi otro verbo en continuo. Lo mismo sería en este caso. Si yo pongo un verbo porque quiero ponerlo, ese verbo tiene que ir en continuo y eso se convierte en otro tiempo gramatical. Eso se convierte en past continuous, right? que sería el pasado continuo. Yo he estado bebiendo agua o había estado bebiendo agua, right? Entonces varía. 
eh, son cosas muy diferentes. Por eso es que no quiero que se me vayan a confundir. Aquí no van a necesitar otro verb. Solo van a utilizar su was or were, o si es en negativo, wasn't or weren't. Veamos cómo funciona esto. Let's see, we have guiding structure. Let me see. Hey, Gabriela Choto, can you please tell me the guiding structure? Subject plus was. ¿Cómo se dice la pleca? Uh, slash or dash. O también puede utilizar el or, porque para eso se pone la pleca, que significa or. Mm, ok. Subject plus was or were plus complement. Excellent. There you go. Thank you. Miren qué basic, miren qué fácil. Solo necesito un subject, que ustedes ya saben cuáles son los subjects. Y voy a utilizar mi verb to be en past. En este caso, el was y el were. All right? Básicamente el was equivale al is y el were al are. Okay? So there you go. Let's move on. Eh, si gustan, copien esta estructura porque les quiero mostrar unos examples, right? unos ejemplos y luego también otros ejemplos ya plasmando la regla gramatical. Let me know when you're finished. Finished? Finished. Okay, Finish. excellent, very good. ¿Qué tenemos por aquí? Quería recordarles con qué eh, Subject pronouns, se puede hacer uso de esto, right? Tenemos el you, el they y el we cuando vamos a utilizar el where, when we use where, ¿ok? Luego tenemos otros pronouns como el I, he, she, it, que se utiliza con el was, all right? There you go. Son los diferentes tipos de pronouns y con qué se va a utilizar cada uno. Así que, let me see. Um, Miguel Navarro, if I'm using where, what are the subject pronouns that I can use? Si estoy utilizando where, ¿qué subject pronouns voy a utilizar? You, they, we. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. And Elizabeth Campos, if I want to use was, What subject pronouns can I use? I, he, she, and it. There you go. Excellent. Que no se nos olvide esto, please. Para que no se me confundan, tienen que recordar esto. All right? If you want, you can copy this, and then I move on to the guiding examples. Después de ver los guiding examples, after we study the guiding examples, you will be able to ask me if you have any questions, all right? Ahí ya después de ver los guiding examples, si todavía nos queda una duda, ustedes me pueden preguntar, all right? Para que no quede, no quede ningún gap, ningún espacio en blanco. Finished? Okay, let's move on. Guiding examples, All right? He creado estas oraciones para que se nos haga un poquito más fácil comprender cómo los vamos a utilizar, all right? Let me see, Janira Peña, please read example number one. Alejandra was a good doctor. Exactly. Basically, aquí estoy diciendo, Alejandra fue una buena doctora, right? Let's go with Patricia, please, number two.
Pablo was a very good friend. Exactly. Pablo was a very good friend. Pablo fue un buen amigo, right? Now let's go with Sonia del Tránsito. Example number three. My friend were noisy last night. Exactly. Noisy. Para que todos conozcamos esta palabra, noisy significa ruidoso, right? Noisy. Es ruido y noisy es ruidoso. Okay. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for helping me. Let's go with Jonathan Cordova, number four. Mateo was in the party yesterday. Exactly. That's correct. All right, guys. Those are the guiding examples. What are we going to do next? Vamos a ver qué vamos a hacer. Practice time. Después de, es, de ver esta PPT, esta slide, me dicen si quieren regresar a los guiding examples, ¿ok? Pero ahorita quiero que veamos eso. And let me check. Jancy Jiménez, can you please tell me the instructions? Ok, Juan, for us, a world class, create two sentences with the past of affirmative, no, of being affirmative and show the activity. That's correct. Excellent, girl. All right, guys. Solo dos oraciones. Si creen que dos oraciones, it could be too difficult, puede ser muy difícil, hagan una, all right? Pero si quiero, eh, no quiero ir muy en la clase sin chequearles a la mayoría estas sentences, ¿ok? Porque van a tener que practicar con esto en la plataforma. So, let's work. By the way, do you have any questions? ¿Tienen alguna duda o consulta antes de realizar sus sentences? Okay, I'm assuming everything is clear. Uh, when you finish your sentences, you let me know, okay? Cuando vayan finalizando sus sentences, me hacen saber para así irlos pasando. Ya terminé. Finish. Finish. Excellent. Okay, so tell me, Yanira, your sentences. I was a good student. We were all friends. We were all friends. We all were friends. No, we were old friends. Yeah, that's correct. Excellent, Janira. Very good. Recuerden que aquí solo estamos en affirmative, right? Así que solo van a ser las en affirmative. Excellent. Thank you. Somebody else? Alguien más? Me, teacher. Okay, let me see. ¿Quién es mi? Yancy, yo. Okay, Yancy. Tell me. Okay. I was in the class yesterday. We were a good students. There you go. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. What about Jonathan? Veo que por ahí tiene encendido su microphone. Tonight was very good. Oscar and Moises were my friends in San Salvador. All right. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, Jonathan. Somebody else? Yeah, teacher. Excellent, he said. Tell me. My mother was sick yesterday. Mm -hmm. 
my shoes were dirty. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Very good, excellent. Someone else? Me, Fatima. Okay, excellent. Tell me, Fatima, please. Son was my dog, he died. And mm -hmm. I was born in a rain night. All right, excellent, Fatima. I'm so sorry about your dog. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you. Very good. Those sentences are correct. Let's go with Jose. Uh huh, Jose. Mm -hmm. um, my sentence is number one. She was in the park playing soccer with her friends. Mm -hmm. Number two. They were in the cinema in the premiere The Fast and Furious. Okay, number two, it's correct. Number one, también está correcta. Está bien estructurada. No le voy a mentir, está nítida. Pero ya ese es otro tiempo gramatical. Right? Ya ese es okay. past continuous. They were playing. O I was playing. Right? Yo estaba jugando. O okay. ellos estaban jugando. Okay, that's another. Okay. Sense. Thank you. You're welcome, Jose. A pleasure. Somebody else? Yo, teacher. Ajá, Gaby. The movie was a good. The movie okay. was good. Ajá. Ajá. She was a fantastic dancer. She was a fantastic dancer. Uh -huh. That's eh, correct. Fue una buena bailarina. Ajá. Sí, dancer. Bien. Yes, uh -huh. dancer. Very good, sister. Thanks. Excellent, Gaby. All right, somebody else. Me, teacher. Uh -huh, Sonia. My mother was a good singer. Uh -huh. Alejandro was an excellent pianist. That's correct. Very good. Very good, Sonia. Check. You have them good. All right, one last person. Nobody? Are you okay. sure? Yo, Mayra. Excellent, Mayra. Tell me. And I was a good teacher. Mm -hmm. And they, they were good students. Excellent. There you go, Mayrita. Mm, gracias. Thank you. There you go. Check. All right. Very good sentences, guys. Y recuerden, miren, ustedes para crear con el... Past of B, tienen uh, vastedad de vocabulary que ustedes han ido adquiriendo. Tenemos desde prepositions of place. For example, I was in the corner of, I don't know, alguna calle del de Salvador, right? I was in the corner of na 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 na. Or I was uh, between uh, the pharmacy and uh, cinema, right? Hasta con eso pueden hacer uso del verb to be in past. Now let's move on to the guiding structure for negative statements. Let me see Dino Hernandez, please tell me the structure. Subject plus wasn't or weren't. Uh -huh. Let's complement. There you go, excellent, thank you. All right, in this structure, we're going to change a little bit. Aquí como ya es negativo, ya no voy a decir was, sino que voy a decir wasn't. Ya no voy a decir were, digo were it. All right? Let's move on to the guiding examples. Guiding examples. Mm, let me check. Veronica Esmeralda, example number one, please. I wasn't very friendly. Exactly. Kathy, no. uh -huh. Todas o... Yes, all of them. Kathy wasn't happy last week. We weren't at home this morning. That's correct. Excellent, Veronica. Thank you. All right, so I wasn't very friendly. No fui muy amistosa, all right? Kathy wasn't happy last week. Kathy no estaba contenta la semana pasada. We weren't at home this morning. No estábamos en casa esta mañana, all right? So what are you going to do next? We have a couple of minutes. Let's work in this one. 
it says time to practice. Work individually, create at least two sentences using the past of being negative. Ask questions if needed, all right? Compare your sentences with the class. Cuando dice ask questions if needed, me refiero a que si tienen alguna consulta pueden hacerla, right? So, let's create two sentences, o al menos una, utilizando el negative. Recuerden, pueden utilizar a was or weren't. Somebody who has finished, alguien que haya finalizado at least one sentence. Uh, your teacher. Okay, Lizette, tell me. It wasn't cold. It wasn't cold, all right. Excellent, what about you, Jose? I wasn't at work this morning. Mm -hmm. There you go, excellent. ¿Tiene otra o solo esa, José? Only that one. Yes, only okay. that one. Excellent, very <laughs> good. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más? Eh, yo, Mayra. Excellent, Mayrita. Tell me. We aren't at the movies. Mm -hmm. We weren't at the movies. We weren't at the movies. There you go. Excellent. All right. All right, everybody. Time's up. Thank you so much for being um, present in your class. I will see you tomorrow. Please work on this. All right. Por favor, trabajemos en esto. Mañana les voy a pedir que algunos participen de nuevo diciéndome las negative statements. And we will see how are we working with this. All right, everybody. That was pretty much it for today's class. It was a pleasure. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.